We've got snow on the ground, so it's time to do some burning of slash and brush piles. Right behind me, between the two stone walls, I've got a pile that runs kind of the length, a good 50 feet, because all around these stone walls is a whole bunch of invasive. So I dumped a bunch of brush and slash in here, and my hope is that if I light this off and get this to burn, it'll take a bunch of those invasives with it, make it a lot easier to control. So we're gonna light this up and see if I can't get this to burn all the way down. So this gives you the scope of what we have here. We're lit in three places. One is right here, another is right over there. The breeze, such that it is, should carry this kind of down the line. And then the third is in the pile off yonder. I don't know if that can be seen from here on the camera, but anyway, the breeze is kind of going that way, as you can see by the smoke, and hopefully that's gonna carry the fire right down this row. There's a lot of big, thick, heavy stuff from the top of a pine that came down uh, as part of the logging of material for the barn. So this is going to be harder and slower to burn for sure. Gaining very slowly. I'm just concentrating on this fire now. I lost that one and then in the distance that pile was doing all right, but I pushed more into it and I think with the snow melt it kind of killed it a little bit. It was a bit much trying to keep three going, so I've concentrated my efforts here. And so far, this is going all right. This pile did finally take back off. It looks like this one will finish right up today, except for that huge chunk there. All I could have really hoped to do was take some off of that anyway, because big blocks like that don't really burn well. We're getting closer to the end of this row. I keep taking the tractor and pushing it up and pushing it up and pushing it up so that it keeps advancing through the material. It's gonna be a night, that's for sure. End of the line at last. That is the last of the pile right there, burning down. Late night. I worked the fires until midnight last night. We'll go take a look at how things look this morning and look at how the row where the invasives were looks having been burned in daylight. So we can actually see how effective that was. We'll start though with the small pile, which is down the hill behind me. So here's this pile. I stirred it up with the shovel this morning. Still a little bit of coals there. I just put a few twigs and stuff on the remaining coals. We'll see. It may just smolder or they may actually burn. Either way, this pile was pretty much consumed. Less that big chunk there, which I didn't expect that big chunk to go anyway, just given its size. And here is the row fire. You can see it's burned out all the way through. We'll take a look at exactly how effective that was. I'm now standing about in the middle of the area that was burned. 
and there are still some invasives here along this stone wall and that's true all the way down it's also true about the stone wall right behind me so here's the other stone wall again we have some here just in different pockets it was very well cleared out right there but it's hard to imagine the difference that has been made here so this is looking kind of back up it the fire actually progressed from down here that way and I just kept running the tractor up and pushing the pile pushing the pile to keep everything moving until it got up to that big rock up there which was the end of where I had thrown material in here there was scraps from the barn there was brush slash everything just piled in here but all of this was grown in with invasives like oriental bittersweet there was burning bush in here there's Japanese barberry in here all kinds of stuff and and there still is some but what's nice is now that this is burned out I will be able to actually walk through here I could not move through this couldn't get the tractor through this it was just too thick to even do anything and now that I can I'll be able to come through and pull out or nip off a lot of what's left up and down these edges to really get this under control and now that I can get the tractor through here I should be able to maintain it well, it was a late night and definitely some hard work keeping the fire going, but I'm glad I spent the time to be up until midnight working this because if I had stopped, it wouldn't have necessarily burned all the way out. And the results I'm quite pleased with looking behind me here at how this has opened right up. I mean, you couldn't even see across this. There was so much growth here and it was all invasive species. So much better to have this opened up and at least take some small steps toward eliminating the invasives and reclaiming some of the property.